Hey you guys, it's Waz with a battle wagon. Right, before I begin, I have to apologise. I said in the first video I released today, which is the which is called the Outlander buggy, or the Outlander orc buggy. Um, I said it's for it's an Outlander buggy from the game Outlander, which I am incorrect, and I blame it on the gin that I've been drinking uh, earlier on. It's not from a game called Outlander. It's from a game called Borderlands, right? So, so I retract my statement saying it was from Outlander. It's not from Outlander. I don't know why I've got Outlander on my mind at the moment. Maybe I've been thinking about Vikings and the film Outlander or Outlander, whatever it's called. I can't remember. So, so I retract my statement, okay? Right, on to this video. Uh, this is a battle wagon. It's going to be cast. Um, this is work in progress. It's still work in progress. All right. I've not finished it. It's uh, we. I've still got a bit to go. Um, uh, but however, I wanted to do a video on it to show you at the stage I'm at because I have put some photographs on my Facebook page, and uh, people are asking me about doing a video. I've had a few messages. Um, saying oh can you can you do a work in progress for i hate doing work in progress videos because a, uh, some people who do the the uh the comment in before you know they pe people comment and some of the comments are not right great <laughs> comments and uh it winds me up to death it proper winds me up and you know they they're so impatient people are so impatient and in the 40k universe you guys in the orc community are fantastic but people sometimes come over from a different community and they are fantastic and it and they love to troll so i'm not going to feed any trolls this is work in progress guys so there's still loads i need to do so if you start writing in the comments oh you know you need to do this was you need to do I've, I've already thought of it probably and you know but don't get me wrong i i love some comments like that that you know you guys can you know, whack in the comments and say, you know, a few suggestions and stuff. But, you know, just bear in mind, uh, it is work in progress. So, um, what can I say? I, the, the, the back gun, I've tried to base it on what the weaponry of the current uh, battle wagon. This is roughly the same size as the current battle wagon. Okay, so it is a fairly big model. You can see here these are these are uh, ten mil squares. Okay, so you can see the size of it, and it is it is fairly big, it's massive. Okay, but it is the same size as a Games Workshop battle wagon, which, by the way, is a beautiful model, and I absolutely love that model. So I've just all I've done is try to copy what. Uh, their concept is with the guns and where the turrets are and the fact that they can play around with their turrets. Uh, the, the only thing is, uh, mine isn't as open as theirs. They have a cab at the front and then their their um, turret and stuff ends up going on a, a plate on, above where the two gunners sit. And I thought, yeah, do you know what? It is, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely model. I love it to death and I would never change anything about it. Um, I just wanted to do my own design and i came up with this and one of the reasons why i went with this design is these wheels that um trev has produced i haven't done these wheels trev has done them and i wanted to build something that's going to complement uh trev's trev's wheels and these do they're only held in by blue tack at the moment so i'm struggling to keep i'm trying to keep them away as you can see because it look it looks like they're just touching it, which they practically are, and it looks like the wheels won't turn without rubbing against it. They do turn with the wheels not touching it. You just have to um, when you when you come to glue them in place, you just got to be so careful how you do it because this area here is so tight. But I did it, I designed it that way to be so tight, and I'll show you what else is in there in a minute as well because uh, the detail doesn't just stop on the surface. So there's there's other underlying detail. Right now for the turret, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna hire this just a little, a tad like that, about that high. Um, reason being is, it doesn't quite turn with uh, with that cupola in the way. So what I'm thinking of doing is move, moving this cupola here 
Um, I've, I've designed this so you can move all this around a little bit and play play around with it. I also designed it so these hatches go flat. And uh, uh, so basically when the gun turns like so, I'm struggling with it here because of that one. I'll just take that off for a second. So when the gun turns, it does turn over the top. So so this this goes up and it turns over the top. So you get a whole 360 degrees of uh, firing. All right. So so the plan is at the moment because like I said, this is work in progress. Um, I'm going to hire this a little bit, or I'm going to build these lower. At the moment, I love love the way these sit. So I have absolutely no intention of lowering these. But however, if push comes to shove, I'll end up making these lower and smaller, um, which is what I don't really want to do. Um, but when I built this, I designed it so the turret went at the back like this. So it was very similar to how the um, Games Workshop uh, uh, battle wagon goes. Now, my philosophy on building things at the moment for green for the for dadgreenone.com is um i want to build things that i know that will sell well and i know that some people or uh, a lot of people are after especially different types of models uh, what they're after now as far as i'm aware trucks battle wagons and um what else is there buggies bikes they're the most popular thing on the battlefield for an orc player to 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 a uh, field so and we haven't got a battle wagon at the moment and i don't think anyone's out there who's building a, um, a battle wagon uh, as far as i'm aware these other companies um so so i've I, this is what i've come up with and i think the design is actually pretty cool I'm, I'm, i mean i've gone to town on some of the detail on it and i think it's turning out really well i've got quite a bit more to go yet don't get me wrong there's there is quite a lot to go yet um and we'll see how i how i get on these two shooters here at the moment are um exactly you know they might not stay they they, they might go I don't, I don't know yet um as for this uh grappling hook thing um whatever it's called again i sort of copied what gw did but made up made it my the own uh my own design sort of thing but it's it is almost the same as what gw did um because theirs is lovely anyway so why change it it all comes apart and uh yeah you you you'd be able to um, position it where you want as well um, so and you don't have to have it on if you don't field it with this on so you, can, you don't have to choose to, to use it at the back this is where your two gunners are gonna go um, it's I've built it as small as I can possibly get away with uh, this actually does just pop off so you can um, do whatever you want to do with it <laughs> you can either have it on with it on i think it looks so cool like that though it looks so cool a little stubby chunky massive truck battle wagon thing whatever you want to call it it's great sorry just got me a pointy stick um and then obviously you put it on uh, on the next video once this is all finished i'll put the two orcs that are stood on the back with the shooters um, and you can see how that goes. Right, so I'm going to take a bit of this off because I'm going to be moving it around in a, in a minute. And I want to show you some more detail work that I've been doing on it. So at the front here, this is the front ramp ram, and this comes off. Uh, I've every intention of doing a roller, a death roller, but at the moment I'm struggling. So we'll see where that goes uh the next the next time I, I start messing around with this one i'm having a break from this as well at the moment so it might be a couple of weeks before i do it but, um but yeah ignore the blue tack in the holes so that's the detail inside i've still got a little bit more work to do inside here and um, i want to put some some other bits and pieces maybe some wires coming from here and trailing upwards um as if they're like part of the brake caliper or, or whatever um just just to make it look a bit more detailed inside here because 
believe it or not, you're not actually going to see any of this. But when people get these type of models and they see how much detail you've gone to town on um, in these areas that you're not even you're not even going to see, then they love it. Um, I have every intention of doing some more exhausts down here. So if you imagine this is it's this exhaust here, which is fitted on here. So they might. I'm going to put some more exhaust down here, maybe coming along here, and maybe going up, up the up that part there. Um, because I think that'll look really cool. So, so yeah, yeah. That that's the plan on that part there. Um, because it, if you look at the how much height I've got, putting a little exhaust under here, it's still got loads of ground clearance. So that's just to fill in this area here. And, and that's that's the plan for that part um other than that guys that's it uh this is like i said this is going to be uh our battle wagon um i have every intention of building another one as well and doing it slightly different and doing one with tracks and wheels so like a half track type uh deal that's going on if you can hear something going on in the background there it's my dog licking something and that i'm don't want to shout at her because she's she's lovely, my little Jack Russell. Right, so that's it. That's the battle wagon, guys. Uh, this will be. I'll update this in a couple of weeks. Uh, how far I've got on, uh, and hopefully you will all like it. Um, at the moment, I think this is a pretty cool build. Uh, I, I look. I, I, if you've got any ideas of anything you think I should be building, that you think. Maybe in dagreenone.com uh, should be selling. Then pop it in the comments because I do listen to the comments. I read all the comments. I try and reply on all the comments. I failed to do that in the last couple of uh, videos. I, 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 I just I've been so busy, but I will try my hardest to always reply to, on the comments. So just let me know what you think I should be concentrating on building this is obviously the next one that's going to come out. So I've done the truck now, which I think is going to sell loads. Um, I've got to improve the truck as well. I've got to do some more bits and pieces with the truck. I want to build a massive rocket that sits on the back of the truck. I want to build a massive AA gun that sits on the back of the truck. So I've got all that to come as well, guys. Um, oh, whew, I, should do, <laughs> I wish I got paid for this. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so let me know in the comments if there's anything else you think I should do. And then I'll see about doing it. All right, guys. Right, I'm off. Speak to you later.